The number of pilgrims arriving in the Holy Land continues to increase. This week, an Italian group led by Monsignor Pietro Marini, President Emeritus of the Pontifical Committee for International Eucharistic Congresses, visited the holy places to pray for peace. The visit began on Saturday, March the 12th, from Galilee, with a traditional Saturday evening torchlight procession to the Basilica of the Annunciation, an evening dedicated in a special way to praying for peace in Ukraine and for all those who suffer as a result of wars. At the end of the celebration, it was Monsignor Marini himself who lit the torch of peace in the Grotto of the Annunciation. This pilgrimage takes place in a difficult time. We come from Europe and there is still war in Europe. We are Christians and to be Christians means to be for peace. On Wednesday, March 16th, the group celebrated Mass at the Shrine of the Flagellation in Jerusalem, then walked the streets of the Old City, contemplating the mystery of the Lord's Passion. This was the first experience for the Sisters of the Congregation, Apostles of the Sacred Heart, as pilgrims in the Holy Land. This is the first time I have made a pilgrimage to the Holy Land. In this time of Lent, with this situation we are experiencing of war and pandemic, for me it is a reason to offer this whole pilgrimage. We go up the way of the cross and offer this journey for all those who suffer and need it, and to world peace. I live in Rome. This is the first time I have been here in this blessed land. For me, it is a great emotion to walk on the same land where Jesus, his mother, and the apostles passed through. It is very edifying. I leave you with a message. In this world, with war and pandemic, we can be witnesses of hope. We can be the joy of the heart of Jesus and Our Lady for all those in need. I gladly came to the Holy Land precisely to give also a sign to others that normal life has returned a little, but not only. Also from the spiritual point of view, we must return to the source, we must return to the Gospel. Vangelo. Monsignor Pietro Marini has worked in various agencies of the Holy See directly related to the liturgical reform proposed by Second Vatican Council. He was appointed Master of Ceremonies by John Paul II in 1987. He participated in many important events in the recent history of the Catholic Church and made many apostolic trips with John Paul II and Benedict XVI. Everyone during their pilgrimage must cling to the Gospel, to faith. The life of Jesus was a journey and our evangelists often say that he was on his way to Jerusalem and more than a geographical indication, it was a theological indication, in the sense that the whole life of the Lord was attention towards Easter, his death and resurrection. So our life too, day by day, must be a journey in the footsteps of the Lord, accepting the difficulties and thinking that one day we can be together with him and with our brothers in faith. <laughs> Un giorno potremo essere insieme con lui e con tutti i nostri fratelli della fede.